Welcome back, Traveller. It seems that once again, you've made your way to Cryptid Central. It's nice to see you again. Today, I'll be talking about a gigantic sea-dwelling cryptid, one that strikes fear into the hearts of sailors everywhere. An enormous creature that lurks in the cold, dark deep, waiting patiently for its next meal to come along. I'm talking, of course, about the Kraken. The Kraken is a legendary sea monster of enormous size and of a cephalopod-like appearance and makes its home in the freezing waters off the coast of Norway and Greenland. The first record of the Kraken was in 1180 by the King of Norway himself, Magnus V. In subsequent decades, the beast's legend grew, with some of Norway's earliest great heroes, such as Orvar Odda, coming face to face with it. The mighty Kraken inhabits the waters off the coast of Norway, where at the bottom of the ocean it lies dormant. It's said that every three months, when he wakes to an empty stomach, he makes his way towards the ocean's surface, bringing mighty, crashing waves with him. Any fisherman out at sea who happens to spot these oddly formed waves must flee, or surely face a grim, watery death. The earliest descriptions of the Kraken focus on the creature's size, claiming that he is the hugest monster in the sea. He is so large that he has been known to swallow entire ships and even whales whole. In fact, the beast is so utterly enormous that when he is at the surface, his body can be mistaken for land and that the slightest movement of one of his huge tentacles can create whirlpools. Later sightings report that the beast has a flat body which tends to emerge from the water in humps like small islands, and dozens of long, flexible arms, sometimes called horns. The kraken is also said to have spikes on its suckers. Giant circular waves and swarms of confused, frightened fish usually appear in front of the creature. It is often described as having the appearance of a giant octopus, a giant crab, or some combination of the two. It has also been described as having the body of a fish, with dozens of spindly tentacles growing from around its neck. Perhaps one of the most intriguing things about this cryptid is the unique hunting strategy it employs. The kraken eats fish, thousands in one go, but instead of swimming around the ocean catching fish one by one, he instead makes his dinner come to him. After the Kraken digests a meal, which consists of several tons of fish and takes around three months to digest, he spews out the waste into the water around him, which becomes muddied and turbid. While this does sound rather disgusting, it is extremely effective in drawing yet more schools of fish toward him, as they are attracted to the stench of the waste. Once there are enough fish around him, feasting on the gigantic cloud of waste, he snaps them up and can then rest again. This hunting method is so effective that ancient Nordic fishermen actually sought out the Kraken, braving his wrath to get in on the bounty of fish who swarmed above him. Indeed, this was a life-threatening risk for the fishermen, but the potential rewards were too good to ignore. In the 18th century, famous Swedish naturalist Carl Linnaeus included the Kraken in the first edition of his systematic natural catalogue, Systema Naturae, from 1735. There he gave the animal the scientific name, Microcosmos. The Kraken's reputation is so terrifying that it has been the focus of many a wary sailor passing the North Atlantic, and especially sailors from the Scandinavian countries. Naysayers maintain that reports of the Kraken were in fact sightings of giant squid and are simply a case of mistaken identity. But in a world where we know more about outer space than we do about our own oceans, is it really fair to dismiss the Kraken as mere legend? A tall tale passed down by salty sea dogs from generation to generation, a ghost story and nothing more? Or should we be more open to the possibility of the Kraken being very real indeed? and give this colossal cryptid the respect it deserves.